A car falls into a sinkhole in, in central El Paso. In fact, you can see the size and scope and depth of this hole in this new video today as a member of the cleanup crew is standing inside that hole. That is the car that fell into the hole. Our crews were there as it was removed with a backhoe. Take a look at the damage to that vehicle. The sedan was sucked into the sinkhole last night. All of that was caught on camera. You could see it was completely destroyed. ABC 7's Brianna Perez was there as the car was pulled out of the hole. She's been looking into what caused this sinkhole, and she's now speaking with the daughter of the woman who was inside that car. She joins us now live. Brianna. That's right, Stephanie, as you saw, that car is no longer in the sinkhole, but I want to give you a look at how the scene looks just right now. As you can see, crews are still here at this intersection. El Paso Water says that this sinkhole is 15 feet deep. But I do want to show you the moment that we first reported of that car sinking. It is unbelievable just how far deep that car was submerged and just how dangerous this situation could have been for the woman stuck inside. Thankfully, with the help of bystanders and firefighters pulling her out, she was rescued. But questions remain as to what caused that sinkhole. El Paso Water says a nearly 70 year old pipe pipe burst that caused the road to cave in. El Paso Water Chief Operations Officer Gilbert Trejo says the 24 inch water line is made out of cast iron and under high pressure. It's already been replaced two times in the last 10 years. El Paso Water went on to explain that what she should have done in this situation. They tell us it's important to turn around, don't drown, and to avoid falling into holes like this. But in this situation, however, there was no water on the road's surface, and it had not been raining in that area. A witness tells us there was no time for the woman to react and that the road caved in beneath her before she could get to safety. Now, I did speak with the daughter of the woman. She is 72-year-old Martha. Her daughter, Carla Hernandez, tells me that her mom is now safe and it is in his home resting, but she is thankful for those that acted quickly to save her life. I mean, anybody can lose their life in a minute, 30 seconds, and I know, I mean, if it wasn't for those people helping, we could have lost my mom yesterday. So once again, I just want to say thank you. I do not know their names. I don't know who they are, but thank you for helping her and may God bless you all. I'll walk in. El Paso Water says that a larger segment of along here at Yanda will be will be replaced next year and they say that this intersection will be closed until Saturday. That's when you can expect for this road to be back open. But for now reporting in central El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC 7. All right, we can see that pipe behind you as it's being pulled out of that hole. Such a mess out there. Amazing video, Brianna. Thank you. And of course, El Paso Water saying turn around, don't drown. That's always an important reminder in these right. situations. But as the eyewitness account told us last night and again today, this happened in a matter of seconds and there was no water on the road at the time. So still some questions left unanswered.